We as programmers need to stay up to date with technology and more or less with everything that is going on with our field. The main reason is probably that we all know things are moving quite fast and it is important for us to stay relevant, to stay informed and frankly to always keep uh, learning and keep, impor- keep improving ourselves. But with everything that is going on in our lives, right, like you have your day job, probably tight deadlines, family, friends, I don't know, hobbies, interests, uh, training and whatnot. And how, how can you find time to, to, to read news articles, I don't know, blog posts, watch presentations, listen to podcasts? It is quite tricky and frankly it is easy to, to, to either not do anything because you feel overwhelmed with everything or the other thing is that you maybe can can only read articles and news, right? And your tasks are not getting done. So what I suggest for this, or, or sh- I should say what the author of this book, really good book, suggests, book called Fundamentals of Software Architecture, is this so-called 20-minute rule. So I think it is the last chapter in the book uh, where where, where, uh, the author is talking about uh, career development and there there is a section about this 20-minute rule. So what is it? The basic idea is that you spend at least 20 minutes each day to cover over news articles, blog posts, I don't know, Google buzzwords and stuff like that. The beauty of this is that uh, it will not eat a uh, bunch of time for you. And it is still enough to at least be informed with the major thing that is going on, at least in your area of, of, of interest and what is relevant to you. A lot of people would do this during the day, maybe during the, during the lunchtime uh, or some other free slot of time. But what I highly suggest and what the author uh, suggests as well is that it is done first thing in the morning. Why is this a better approach in my opinion? Well, we all know how most of our most of our days plays out, right? You have an unexpected unexpected meeting, somebody pings you on Slack, your build is failing for no reason, for no reason, and stuff happens. But when you do it first thing in the morning, uh, you are more or less guaranteed first to do it, and second to be consistent with it, right? And besides that, uh, like you do it first thing in in the morning and like you have a nice feeling that you already accomplished your first task. And there is a nice nice feeling of of being on on top of things before even starting your day. day. It is nice. What the author suggests is that basically you grab a cup of coffee and do this. But what I do is actually do this even before before my cup of coffee. I do this ritual, then grab my coffee and start with my day. So this is the 20-minute rule in a nutshell, right? But besides that, I would like to share a couple of more tips with you that really that that work uh, really well really well for me. So first thing is that don't try to to be informed with everything in the universe, right? So it is a waste of time. Try try to keep it more, more or less around your field of interest, right? So like for example, me, I am like a infrastructure and database guy so I don't necessarily need to know what happen, what's happening in React and frankly I don't want to know what's happening in React but you get the point. The second uh, thing I, uh, I would like to mention is that you use some kind of application that will gather everything in, in one place so it is easier for you to manage and you have everything uh, you have everything in a, in a single place. So let me actually uh, show this for you like, for example, I conveniently loaded this application. It is Feedly that I use. And basically, see here you can see a bunch of bunch of feeds that I follow. There are a couple of blog posts, a couple of, uh, like, database news, thing, uh, uh, news sites. And then here I have, like, a general software development news, news and what is going on. And each morning I will open, open this, usually on my tablet, go through each of them, and that is more or less it. The third thing is that uh, if there's something interesting that I I don't 
get to, to, to cover in these 20 minutes, right? I will save them for later. And maybe during the weekend, I will grab a coffee, go to a, sh- go, go to a, go to a coffee shop or, 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 or something similar and go through everything, read that I want to read and, and delete what I don't, don't, don't think it is, it is important to me, right? And this way, I really feel on top of things, like everything is covered, everything is read, and my next week uh, starts like fresh. It is similar like inbox zero productivity tip, right? So my inbox is zero, it is empty. And the last thing that uh, is when it comes to presentations, like tech talks or podcasts, I cannot squeeze them into, into these uh, 20 minutes. But what, what I will usually do is for uh, presentations, I will maybe watch them during my, during my lunch break, like in a couple of sessions. And podcasts, I will, I, will, I will regularly listen to them while working out. So I work out two, two, three, times a, uh, two three times a week in the gym. And basically I have a three hours for podcasts. So it is, it is like a perfect thing to do in a gym. And yeah, that is more or less it. Like nothing wow, but it is a simple thing that works really, really well for me. Try it out, see if it fits uh, with your flow, workflow in general, and maybe it will be beneficial like it is, it is to me. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you find it useful, maybe give me a thumbs up, right? You know the deal and maybe consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.